The final episode of this program is next Thursday. I invite you to DVR each and every episode in the next, what is it, nine shows. Tonight I, wanted you, I want you to look around at society in our own country and then around the world. It's breaking down. The question is, why? And is it spontaneous? Well, yes and no. Part of it's happening because governments go bad. Uh, when they lie to their own people, which governments always do, they have to be reset. And if they're not allowed to fail in a small failure, um, then it becomes catastrophic and they're resetting. And that's what's happening all around the world. Let's take a look at Spain. Hundreds of thousands gathered yesterday to protest angry, um, angry, they are angry at the politicians. But it's everywhere. They're angry at the politicians, they're angry at the lack of jobs. Marchers are be, uh, marches is, are being planned, leaving from multiple cities this week. Eventually, they're all going to end up in Madrid next month for what is being called an indignant rally. I'm not surprised by this, and you wouldn't be either if you watch the show every night. I warned you that it was just a matter of time before the unrest spread to Spain. Here I am. Morocco is crucial because it is the gateway to Europe. What's across from Morocco? Oh, Spain. The next logical place to go. The country that has invested a fortune in developing green jobs, which has caused it to have the highest unemployment rate in the industrialized world. I mean, I don't know how these people even, I really honestly don't know how people in, uh, on other networks, any, any journalist, can even watch this show uh, uh, with anything other than self-disgust uh, at what they've done. How many of them got the, the Spain thing right? Oh, and how about the Greece thing that I told you two years ago? There's ongoing violent, uh, violence and protest in Greece over another round of austerity measures. Everyone said it couldn't happen, and now it is again. The country needs another bailout. That won't happen. We told you it would. Another 85 billion euros to avoid bankruptcy. It's going to go bankrupt. It's going to fall. The people there have no faith. A 50-year-old unemployed father said, quote, don't be surprised if Athens goes up in flames and don't be sad either. Think of this. The country is on the verge of collapse and he isn't even upset. How did the world get to this point? In the meantime, some UK leaders are calling on the country to uh, leave the Eurozone while experts are questioning whether the Euro will survive this. It won't. Don't think it can't happen here? Well, you're in good company. Many that say now that it won't happen here or can't happen here were the ones that said it couldn't happen over there. But again, the seeds have already been sown here in America. Teen flash mob robberies now are on the rise. Police say teens are organizing online. They pick a time and a place and they go to a store, they take everything they want and then they leave before security catches them. Here's a video of a flash rob in a DC clothing store. And in Vegas, you see teens pushing their way into a convenience store. Shops on the Mag Magnificent Mile of Chicago have been targeted multiple times. In a recent survey, 95% of the 125 real re uh, retailers polled said that they have been victims of organized crime like this in the last year. Then, this weekend, White House Communications Director Dan Pfeiffer was booed at the Netroots conference. Even the administration's socialist friends are turning on them. That works to the advantage of anybody who wants to fundamentally transform the system. So what do we do? Well, the governments need to be reset. They do. It's unsustainable. It doesn't work. So do we just as people go out in the street, march, and just hope that freedom will reign after the government resets? Or do we pause for a second and make sure that we ourselves are worthy and capable of freedom? Freedom hasn't taken root in Iraq or Afghanistan. We hoped that it would. I did. But it hasn't. Why? Because it's not part of the culture, freedom. The freedom that we experience here in America, uniquely an American idea. Because of these two words, under God. Our children are being taught, well, the flash mob kids, they don't see owners, the owners of these store, as people. 
What does it matter if they just take what they deserve from their evil rich store owners? It won't hurt them. Y yes, it will. But that's the demonization of the greedy capitalists. But who's really being hurt? The individual store owner? The convenience store guy? Just trying to earn a decent living? Worked hard his whole life just to be able to open up a shop? They're dehumanizing people, the people of the store, the owners. And the left is doing an amazing job of dehumanizing anyone who is successful or anyone who stands in their way. But these teens think it's okay to take what they want and do what they want. But it's not. In a civilized society, even if you're in desperate straits, you don't hurt others. You don't steal from others. You don't destroy others to pull yourself up. We don't have that right. Never have. We don't have the right to hurt other people. To be free is a choice. But it is the hardest of all choices because it requires responsibility. To really be free, to be a moral and just person sucks. It sucks because it's not easy to do it. But I believe that's where the Americans come in. We have always done the job that the rest of the world didn't want to do. We have always done the job that the rest of the world thought was impossible. And I believe we'll do it again. I want to ask you, not as a TV personality or, I want to ask you as a dad, as a citizen, to do your country a favor. I'll begin to explain that next.